Wednesday, January 22nd, 2020, Durango Jail, Phoenix, Arizona, hopeinprison.com. This evening we sang a hymn, introduced ourselves as sons of God, and had the prayer. This week I learned a new skill set. I figured out how to put subtitles on music videos. I asked the men to tell me what scriptures came to mind while the song played. Usually the room is quiet when there's a video. I think the subtitles were an invitation to join in. A lot of the men sang along. The men named five scriptures that we talked about for the rest of the evening. One, I can do all things through Christ. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. Two, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God. John chapter 11 verse 27. 3. Bless the Lord, bless his holy name. Psalms chapter 103. 4. God has delivered me from prison. Alma chapter 36 verse 27. 5. Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief. Mark chapter 9 verse 24. At the end of the evening, we had the closing prayer and listened to music till the guard came. On the way home, my mind went back to last week's visit to the jail. After class, I waited while Brother Ferguson talked with an inmate. The young man was leaving for five years in prison and was very afraid. I sensed this was not the first time Brother Ferguson had had this type of conversation. He combined all the kindness of a grandfather with the cold hard reality of what prison is. He explained tears were a waste of time. He counseled the young man to read the Book of Mormon five times while in prison, one time for each year of his sentence. Then he exhorted the young inmate to go to church services, see who is there, and hang with them. These words of wisdom gave hope. The guard was anxious for the visit to end. We thanked her and left. <laughs>